Ursula von der Leyen made her keynote speech at Davos this week and she promised us a utopian future. But her other colleagues at the same conference are telling us the exact opposite. If I have to describe the World Economic Forum's annual conference at Davos, uh, you know, in short, I would say it's basically a conference that is built to contradict itself. Uh, they claim to be in favor of capitalism, but they're not in favor of free market capitalism. They are in favor of global corporatism. Now, they claim to be in favor of people, but they want to control people's lives. They, can't, they, they want to come up with ideas to lobby world governments and presidents and prime ministers to then have crowd control measures to make sure that we, as we, as I always say, to save you from yourself. Ursula von der Leyen, oh dear God, the head of the European Commission, decided to make a keynote speech uh, this week and uh, she said that we are coming towards a, <laughs> a new industrial revolution and everything's going to be great. We know exactly what that means, by the way, because it's all about centralization of powers. Um, let's watch a few seconds of uh, her rant and then show her the evidence that her own colleagues are saying the opposite. Next decades, we'll see the greatest industrial transformation of our times, maybe of any times. And those who develop and manufacture the technology that will be the foundation of tomorrow's economy will have the greatest competitive edge. So the scale of the opportunity is clear for all to see. Yeah, 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 we get it. Transformation, everything's going to change. Great reset, blah, blah, blah. The issue is, she actually said in her own speech that there will be people that will be coming up with ideas to recreate, redesign society and a con. That's not how it should be. It should be built on individual liberty. It should be based on enterprise and small businesses coming up with ideas. Not really some academic weirdo economists saying, well, let's remodel the whole thing. Because that worked so well for Karl Marx, didn't it? So, let's show her the evidence of nonsensical ideas. <laughs> Look at this one. Talking about how basically that utopia that uh, Ursula was talking about, She's completely against it because the planet should come first. When I hear a lot of these conversations, I think, uh, you know, it's a very business first and then we'll deal with climate and then we'll deal with bi biodiversity loss. And as a secondary consequence, we will might save the planet. And that needs to be reversed. Uh, first comes life. First comes planet. You can do whatever you want after that. I mean, did you see her earrings? <laughs> They're all a bunch of hippies. They claim to be pro. They are the most anti-business think tank and lobby group that exists. They completely just infiltrate their ideas into government. And then they don't really care about business. She said it. She literally publicly said it. That, no, we don't want business to come first. We don't want prosperity to come first. We don't want individual freedoms to come first. We, we, we planet comes first. They say it because as if we are against the planet. It's absolutely idiotic what they're talking about. This next one is also fascinating. He says the system is not functioning as it should be. So we should basically just, just completely bring it down and stop from scratch. I think we could call it a great reset maybe, right? <laughs> We do have an enormous opportunity to move forward for, for faster because it is important and necessary to move forward faster because we have seen that the gap is increasing and that uh, the function, the system doesn't function as it should. Oh my God, we have to move even faster than now. Ooh, let's take a break. <laughs> let people decide for themselves. Let, country, let countries have their own sovereignties. Allow actual free trade to happen bilateral free trade, allow international cooperation to happen, but put your country first, put the interest of your nation first. You cannot have level playing field when the whole world is not equal. You cannot have a one-way system with migration. Nobody from the UK is going to do mass migration sort of thing to uh, Qatar or Saudi or Pakistan. Everyone's going to come from there to here. It's just, they don't, oh, anyway. I need a break. <laughs> Make sure to leave, leave me your thoughts in the comment section about this issue. And uh, we're going to move away from WF. We made a couple of videos uh, today on this uh, topic. We're going to take a break for half an hour. I'm going to come back and talk to you guys about 
Nicola Sturgeon having a meltdown again. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya 2CNW. All the media.